If you're happy and you know it, are you laughing your ass off? If you're happy and you know it, do you laugh every day really loud and really long? <laughs> Today I'm having a very big giggle and I wish I could show you but I didn't capture the moment on film. Uh, my puppy dogs wanted to go for a swim, but our pondle is completely frozen. It's so cold today that not only is the, the pond frozen, but you can actually walk on it. And the dogs ran on it. Now, they expected to go for a swim. They expected to jump in and swim, and they couldn't because it's frozen. And, of course, we all laughed. I don't think they thought it was very funny, but it was a very fun moment. And that's the question I've got. How often do you laugh so loudly that maybe the neighbours would complain? Uh, your cheeks hurt, your abdominals hurt. What a great abdominal exercise. I think it's the best one in the world is to laugh with so much passion and enthusiasm that your tummy muscles hurt. The beautiful thing about laughing, though, is it produces chemicals in our brain that make us feel good. Obviously, dopamine, which is a reward drug. If you're laughing at something, it means that you've overcome a challenge. You've done something that's that's uh, very cool in your life. Your brain says, wow, you've, if you're laughing about it, that's pretty awesome. So you produce dopamine, which is a reward, happy drug that makes you feel good. You also produce serotonin, which is the satisfaction drug, which is your life must be pretty bloody good because you're laughing. So obviously, laughing is a fun thing to do, but the chemical change in your brain means that you feel really good after you've had a laugh. Now, often life throws things at us that isn't very funny. Mother Nature, the government, worldwide medical crisis, worldwide financial crisis. We use horrible words even about them. Disasters and, and terrible things have happened and horrific things have happened. And we, we put these horrible words into our head. The thing I love most about comedy and comedians is they take normal lifetime experiences and even horrible ones and they get us to laugh about them. Now, if you've ever watched a great movie where there's been a person with a sense of humour, so I'll use the example there's a, a plane disaster or a mother nature disaster like a tornado or a hurricane or an earthquake and terrible things happen. But in a good movie, there'll always be somebody that's got a great sense of humour that even though things are terrible, they get people to laugh. And of course, if you're laughing, you've got a different brain space. You're, you're not panicking, you're not angry, you're not frustrated because you're laughing. So you clear out the horrible thoughts in your brain and you feel better. So now you can think differently, you can think more clearly because you're laughing. Now, I use the example of movies because I've seen it happen in movies. Very rarely does it happen in life, but I've been very privileged and I live with a, a man who's got the best sense of humour. My husband is the funniest man ever. And he turns every horrible situation into a funny one. Doesn't matter what's going on in our life and doesn't matter how challenging it is or how big the problem, and we've all got those horrible things that happen. But he always uh, puts a spin on it that makes it funny and we all laugh and then of course you can think more clearly. So that's my personal question for you. Do you have the ability to get people to laugh? And there's an interesting side note to that because I think a lot of our sense of humour has been stamped out of us because of this reason. Have you ever heard a great joke, wanted to pass that great joke on to somebody else or a group of people, and halfway through telling the joke, someone will go, I've heard that before. And there's a big wet, damp cloth put over the whole fun situation. So I always ask this question. First of all, if somebody's telling a joke, even if you've heard it before, couldn't you laugh twice at the same joke? <laughs> How ridiculous. We listen to songs over and over and over again and appreciate them. Why not listen to the same joke twice and laugh twice? That's my, my first thing. Second thing, how rude is it if somebody's telling a joke for you to interrupt and say, I've heard that before. I think that, that if that's ever happened to you where you've been telling a joke and somebody said, I've heard that before, you would be very hesitant about telling another joke again because what if you get the same outcome? Would that be fair? So just from a good manners point of view, if somebody's telling a joke, even if you've heard it before, why not laugh twice? If you are telling a joke and some silly person says, I've heard that before, how about interrupt their silly negative headspace and say, well, why don't you laugh, laugh your ass off twice? Because laughing's really good. <laughs> if you are having a tough day, could you put laughter into your life without, even if you're having a bad day and you don't feel like it and you're angry or even if you're depressed, why not put on a funny movie? I've got joke books still. I've got books full of jokes and I'll just walk past the library, pull a joke book out and read a couple of jokes. There's websites full of jokes. You can just Google jokes and they'll pop up on your Google, Google feed. Uh, 
my husband, who's got the best sense of humour ever, one of the things he does for at least half an hour every day, he's got several sites, send him jokes every day. He reads those jokes, laughs his ass off, and then sends them to other people so that they laugh too. I'm constantly being uh, interrupted during the day, and I love it. We're my really good friends in my life, people who I love and respect, who love laughing as much as I do, who have a great sense of humour, we're constantly sending jokes backwards and forwards. And if I send an email, I often attach a joke to it because I want somebody to laugh. Because the purpose of laughing is, yes, it makes you feel good. But the chemical reaction in your brain doesn't just make you feel good for a minute, it changes your brain space so that you can think more clearly, you can make better decisions, and you can feel really good, not just at that minute, but for the rest of the day. Or if you just laugh more often throughout the day. So my poor puppy dogs who tried to go swimming today and the other fun thing is the ducks. They're not floating on the pond. They're stuck there. I don't know if you can see them. Uh, they're fully frozen on the pond all. And I think it's bloody funny and I've laughed my ass off. Can you tell I've got no ass? So if you want a skinnier ass, laugh <laughs> start again. If you want a skinnier ass, laugh more often. Super duper do, how are you laughing my ass off? Because it's good for my brain. Woohoo!